The DACA and Western Zone Transmission Grid Expansion Project is ADB's latest endeavor in using advanced technologies to provide reliable and affordable energy to the greater Dhaka area and the Western Zone of Bangladesh following the 2018 approved Southwest Transmission Grid Expansion Project. The Bangladeshi government further requested ADB to finance a $300 million loan from ADB's Ordinary Capital Resources and an additional $200 million from Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The People's Republic of China's Poverty Reduction and Regional Cooperation Fund will also add a $0.75 million grant. The project aims to modernize the energy infrastructure of the country by using two advanced technologies. Firstly, the project will fund the use of advanced conductors called Aluminum Conductor Composite Core or ACCC a high-temperature, low-sag HDLS power line conductor. Compared to conventional conductors, such as the Aluminum Conductor Steel Reinforced, the ACSR, these new high-temperature, low-sag conductors reduce thermal sag by being able to operate under much higher temperatures, allowing more electricity to be carried and promising less damage over time, as well as easily meeting clearance requirements between the line and the ground. The high-temperature, low-sag conductors use trapezoidal strands instead of round ones, so they carry more current and enable longer spans between support structures, reducing the need for infrastructure. Compared to the conventional ACSR conductor, the high-temperature, low-sag conductors are lighter and stronger, transfer more power with less energy loss, and lead to significant carbon dioxide emissions reductions. With these conductors, the grid becomes more resilient to extreme weather events like cyclones. These benefits should allow high-temperature, low-sag conductors to remain a leading technology in coming years. The expansion project is a good example of late development advantage for developing countries. Secondly, Bangladesh will now be looking into the use of drone technology to scour the grid network for damage, avoiding power failures that ultimately cost the country a lot of money. Today's drone technologies carry sophisticated recording technology that is able to map out the environment around a power grid, view grids through infrared to assess damage, and are able to record all this data digitally, ensuring thorough accountability of the state of a country's power networks. Deploying drones to survey networks also means power transmissions do not need to be halted for systems reviews. All of this means less damage to the network over time less time to inspect the lines, and most importantly, manpower can be reallocated away from the physical inspection of power grids, ensuring workforce safety. These technologies address the country's need of its growing economy by operating its power grid efficiently and reliably.